What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Too Wild checking in once again back at it like a crack addict today with a very special vid. Now, hey, I'm winging this one from the heart. Straight up from the heart, no scripts, no scrannies, no panties, no bannies, and all the above. Yeah, I'm making up words. It is what it is. But the sneaker market crashing, you know, it reminds me back of the days of is sneaker YouTube dead or I'm selling my whole entire sticker collection. Hey, I was a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Now the videos that are flowing around on YouTube from other content creators out there and salutes to them, but is the sneaker car, you know, the sneaker market is crashed. What to do or the sneaker. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a good title as well. I think I'm going to call it the sneaker market is crashed. How to survive. You know, I'm, I'm going to give it some weird, funny title like that as well. But I wanted to kind of discuss and talk more about this. And if you like these discussion videos, let me know down below in the comment section. We can deliver more of these more on this channel because i feel like discussions are are plat you know on this platform is a way to open up to you guys to speak your opinions and further push you know um ideas and thoughts and discussions of the future you feel what i'm saying i gotta give a shameless plug real quick sample industries just dropped their socks in black and white and white and black available now the link is down below in the description and they are some of the best socks on the market now the sneaker market has crashed that's the sating that's what's been going around right now if you guys know right now in this world that we live in inflation is going up gas prices are going up they said that we're in a recession they're saying we're going to be you know we're going to be in a recession and all of the above and with that being said people aren't spending their money on sneakers people aren't having those stimulus checks floating around like they did once before on sneakers so with that being said less people are buying less people are spending resale and those are starting to affect the prices of resale in general now i'm going to speak at this from two different sides this first side is a new side for me the other side is the more side that I'm more normal to. So let's go ahead and talk about the first side, the more newer side for me, and that is reselling. Me particularly, you know, me personally, I'm not a reseller. I don't buy shoes. When a shoe drops, the first question that pops up in my head is not how much it's going for. It's whether I like the shoe or not. And unfortunately, the times that we live in, that's what all is over twitter instagram and youtube the youtube content itself has been catered to flipping you know is it worth copping to make money like it's all about making money and making the process and look i don't have anything wrong with that because i make money doing videos on sneaker reviews get your money get your bag i ain't gonna pocket watch you at the end of the day but i don't make majority of my money from reselling shoes but and forgive me for hitting the mic I do appreciate the fact that the resale game exists for that reason. You know, if I have a pair of shoes that I bought two, three years ago that I haven't worn, I can get the majority of my money back. You know what I'm saying? And I like that. And if there was no resale game, it'd pretty much be a dud on that. You know what I'm saying? And somebody like me that has two, 300 pairs of shoes, I can't rock every single pair of shoes. And we'll get into a little bit of that later on in the video but it allows me to go through pick something and put it on a market whether it's StockX, two wilds closet instagram or anywhere and and make some money back maybe make more than i bought you know and spent maybe make close to it or slightly less or something you know what i'm saying i can get something back out of it however at the same time it is a little sad seeing how the game is and that people aren't really copping shoes because of they actually like it it's because they can make money off of it and when i came into the game and still to this day i review shoes based upon what i like and sometimes i review shoes i don't like but i don't really review it based upon how much money i can make or even you as the viewer now if that's what you do that's what you do you know more more power to you you know what i'm saying nothing against to the content creators that do it out there it's just times have changed you know there was a point in time when having a big collection was everything then it went from the hype beast era from St supreme and all that then you know uh now we're in the resale era you know the resale content creators that own stores are now making their you know way to youtube and it's cool it's all about a cycle i'm just happy that i'm here after almost 10 years i'm still here doing what i love to do and that's giving you guys content reviews and all the above now as far as how it goes and what my thoughts and opinions on the sneaker market right now as is sneakers in general have always been a short-term 
investment, not a long term. I would never buy a shoe to flip it in a year. I can't do that. I can't wait a year to flip a shoe. Maybe a couple months. There's been plenty of times where I bought a shoe, forgot about the shoe, didn't even wear it, and then three, four, five months go past, and I look at it and like, oh shit, it's on StockX going for two fifty, or you know, or, or I'm, I can make a hundred dollars off of it now. That 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 stuff is, is is normal, but that's not the main reason why I go into it. But right now with the crash going on, I wouldn't even hold anything. It'd be basically buy and flip. If that's what your motive is, if that's what you're trying to do is make some bread, make some money, your best bet is to buy and sell immediately. Now, if you got deep pockets and got time to waste and got time to hold, then you can do that and wait till everything comes back. But my opinion, we don't have no clue when that's going to happen or even if it is going to happen. This market, this cycle, this longevity, it's kind of repeats itself in a way, but it's always different. You feel what I'm saying? It's not the same as it once was in 2013. Back in 2013, shoes were selling out left and right, you know, uh, from LeBron's to KD's and everything was selling out. Now you might move fast forward, those same shoes are being retro to this day and are sitting and selling for below retail so those shoes are not there but there's a new set of shoes that are selling out left and right and jordans themselves are starting to sell out left and right if you look back a couple years before that they were sitting on shelves jordan 5 red suede you know jordan 12 bordeaux them things were sitting on shelves so we've been in a cycle of selling out sitting selling out sitting selling out sitting one thing that has grown though is the resale market in general and how much shoes are reselling for however it is starting to come down and i don't even think it has all to do with the economy as is it's very similar to how youtube is for me and for other creators out there when i did youtube my views i could hit 60,000, no problem 100,000, no problem nowadays you know 60,000 takes a little bit more time it takes a bigger video and hey maybe i could make better content at the end of the day that, that could be one of the reasons but one of the main reasons that i always believed it is and i can see it it being is the fact that there is more saturation there's tons of people out here now doing videos on YouTube. So someone that's watching, that was watching me, they got someone else to watch too, and they watch the same review. They're not gonna wanna watch the same review four or five times. So they stop, they might not watch Tony D on every single review. They might catch me on another review or catch me on another video. So the views overall go down, they get split up in a way. Same way it goes for the resale market. You got so many people now entering the resale market field that the prices are gonna get dropped down by simple competition from StockX to Instagram and all the above. You know, you got StockX has made it to where everybody in the world could be a reseller. Anybody can be a reseller. And they've controlled the market, in my opinion. They controlled it. Maybe they're not physically controlling it. That's a conspiracy theory, whether you think or not, StockX is actually in there, like really, you know, uh, yo, we're gonna make this shoe pop. Like that's that's for you to believe or think at the end of the day. There's been signs, there's been things here and there, but all that's alleged, you know, nothing can be proven. But what I'm saying is they're the forefront of a cash basis of you know how much a shoe is actually going for you go to sneaker con and people want to buy a shoe they pull out their phone and go straight to stock x or goat to see how much a shoe's going for and that's where they get their price at you feel what i'm saying that's just how it works at the end of the day so you know it can be a lot of like i stated before the pricing uh the the, the economy right now and, and with the recession and all that but i also believe it's the oversaturation People can make money. Kids can make money. Kids that were once just watching, you know, me buy a shoe. Now they can go and get the same shoe and flip it and make money. Money is what's going to go. Like at the end of the day, videos that were that revolve around how to make money, how to get things for cheap, how to buy things for cheap and flip it for a lot are always going to do well and make money. And I feel like that itself has caused an influx. I mean, you got an influx of just YouTubers in general, you know what I'm saying? And not everything's revolving around YouTube, but I'm just stating this as a good analogy to show you guys and to, to point out how this thing works. So in my opinion, I think it also plays the fact of the oversaturation of the resale market itself. Stores and stuff like that getting, I feel like there's ways that stores can get involved as well. Like you, there's times where we see shoes that haven't even released yet that are on StockX for below retail because people pretty much know the shoe's not gonna sell that much and they're not trying to be stuck with all this, it's all this, all these, you know, all these pairs. So the best way they do it is they load them up on StockX or they load them up somewhere else. And we see stuff like that happening. So all these things are causing these prices to push down on top of what's going on in the economy with gas, with the war overseas, with inflation, with you know this everything stimulus checks are running out all the above you feel me all these things and i feel like what's really going on is it's the it's the it's the blowback from the previous two three years of you know covid just in general dealing with covid is starting to catch up to us now and i think it's having a part of how 
the economy is and everything now if you want to make money right now and how you want to survive and all that you better be on the quick flips you better buy it flip it and get the hell on there's no holding or nothing because you're going to be stuck buy flip quick and only go after certain shoes that you know that's going to actually do that not every single shoe out there it once was where you could do it like that but in my opinion right now you got to pick and choose because there's a lot of duds dunks aren't really selling for that much right now reselling for that much right now jordan ones aren't really going for that much right now it's pretty much the off-whites the collabs that are doing the justice you got shoes now you know jordan brand starting to peep game i think also i think they're starting to raise their prices in general because they want to x out the you know uh the resale market or they want some more in on that money they see these resellers reselling shoes for 250 bucks why not this they just raise it up to 250 and go from there i don't think that people even at that point well you raise a retail shoe to 250 versus a resale price of two people will rather spend 250 resale than 250 retail 100 facts i'm just being 1000 if the shoe retailed for 180 dollars and it resold for 250 a person would rather go and buy the resale than if the shoe released for 250 and it's been happening with jordans for a minute now phone posits you know they they, they retail for that around that price and they 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 die they go for below retail i believe that jordan brand is starting to seize that and and and, and trying to find a way into x out the middleman or that that reseller but also don't get, you know not hurt themselves so they're raising those prices up we're going to see more and more of that happening in the future the jordan one is already raised up from 160 to 170 now about to hit up to 180 in 2023 supposedly that's uh being rumored right now so we already have 200 jordan ones right now on the og high so you know it's a lot of things going on right now in this market and um it is what it is now on the other end this is the perfect time to buy shoes if you really like a shoe like if you're in it for the love of sneakers and the love of collections and the love of buying and rocking stuff and it's not about mainly the money you know then this is the perfect time for you this is a glory day for you i picked up so many shoes that i once thought i would never have because of what's going on right now and as i stated before i feel like every single person that owns a pair of shoes can find ways to like even though we might hate resellers and all that, we have to be able to appreciate that resale market. Because at the end of the day, you can rock a shoe a couple, three times, four times, be done with it and sell it. You feel me? So I'm not against selling at all, but I, you know, I can go buy, I bought all the LeBrons I missed out on back in 2013 and I can rock them, beat them to the ground. not feel no type of way about spending $500 on a pair of shoes and being scared to wear them. I got off-white fours. They're going for almost what? They're, they're in the thousands maybe now. I bought them for $600 for my brother. You know what I'm saying? Brother-in-law. Um, and I'm, I don't even wear them because they wear, like, that's a thing. Like people spend this crazy amount of money on shoes and we don't even wear them because we feel like, damn, man, I don't want to break that thing. Once I break that, uh, you know, open up that, that cherry, pop that cherry, that thing gone, that price go down. Like it, those are the type of thoughts that we go through. And I'm like, eh, it's just like, it's not even fun thinking about that. You feel me? But nowadays you can get things for retail below retail this is the perfect time if you're an avid collector of avid buyer avid lover of sneakers and it's not to say that if you resell you're not a lover don't get me wrong i'm just saying some people rather buy more than sell and some people rather sell more than buy and at the end of the day hey man get that money i understand i don't hate you i'm getting my i'm getting money doing reviews doing youtube so i can't sit here and say don't make money off shoes when i'm making money off shoes i ain't gonna i ain't gonna play stupid and try to be the, the the knight in shining armor but i make money off shoes reviewing them and talking about the love for them you know and it's not to say anything wrong with you for making money off shoes for reselling and making money off them. you can still love shoes and resell shoes at the end of the day i'm just saying that i like it this way I would not want to convert into a resale YouTuber or anything like that. Now, I do use some of those basis on my videos. And what I mean is, got them early. Oh my God, these are going to sell out. Like that's, they're going to sell out. They're hyped up. That's the type of topic I would use, but I'm not talking about flipping it. I'm going to keep the shoe more than likely if I really, really like it. So if you're someone like that now, this is the best time to take advantage of this market crash and buying the things that you like. If you got the money, of course, don't go broke doing this, but if you got the money, it's definitely the opportunity to hop on it now. One thing I would say from this standpoint, though, from this side of things that I am over is big collections. I'm over the big collection thing the four or five hundred shoes watching mayor watching perfect pair and these rooms of shoes and stuff i'm over that you know what i'm saying i'm over that because i only got two feet at the end of the day and there's shoes downstairs that i haven't even worn ever shoes that i haven't worn one once all that 
And I'm at this point now where as I get older, you know, it's like I want to still do shoes and I forever want to do shoes. And I would for, I love to do YouTube for the rest of my life, man. I ain't going to cap. I wouldn't mind being 60 is 60 year old up here talking shit with y'all. The main thing is, though, I want to be wearing the stuff that I actually get. And what I've also learned, though, because I'm learning it right now, I'm at the point now where the stuff is in my face but all this stuff comes right back i bought a pair of fire red fours in 2013 wore them one time and didn't wear them again mainly because i just liked them didn't want to get them dirty and they're coming back i've seen a lot of shoes come back within my youtube career and they're going to continue to come back so for that being said i can get rid of it if i'm not wearing a shoe i can get rid of it and catch it on the rebound you feel me and, and feel okay and be okay about it it's better to do that than to sit on it and then see it gets resold again. You can't even, you go and buy the new pair, you pretty much wasting your money. You feel me? So those are things that you got to look at, you know, at the end of the day. And and, and uh, that's one thing that I, I, I've i changed in the game is just the, the big collection shit. Like I'm over that. Um, But the market crash, if you in here for the money, I wouldn't hold. I would get your money and get, get in, get out. You feel me? Um, we are in the beginning. I don't see things getting better anytime soon. And, uh, you know, making the extra money for your family to put some food on the table. I ain't going to blame you, man. Somebody got it and they were willing to spend it. And you got it to flip it. You got to do what you got to do. But this is my thoughts and opinions on the sneaker market crash, the sneaker game, and all the above. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.